Now the hard part of unit four, predicting the outcome. So we have our word equations again, but we have to predict what the products will be because it doesn't tell us. So aluminum metal, anytime you just have an element, is going to be just aluminum. So we just write aluminum. Just because it says metal, that doesn't matter. Reacts with silver acetate. Silver, right there is plus one, so AG. Acetate has two ways to draw it, that way or that way, doesn't matter for this. And that's a plus one, acetate is C2H3O2. So looking at our two reactants, we have to decide what type of reaction this is. So this is a single replacement reaction because in single replacement, we have some element reacting with some compound where the element is going to try and take away the anion or cation, depending on what the element is, from the other element. So this, this case will give us AB plus C. But in single replacement, we need the activity series because if you're trying to take someone's stuff, you need to be stronger than them. So the way it works is anybody up here can take away anything below it. So lithium takes away anyone else's partner. So here we have silver. Silver is the one with the partner. And so can our aluminum, which is right here, take away the silver's partner? And the answer is yes. It can give uh, the aluminum can force the electrons onto the silver and become aluminum ions. C2H3O2. There's our acetate. Single replacement. So we write a 3. Single replacement. So now that we have that, we can balance it out. So we need a 3 here and a 3 there. So here we have benzene. C6H6. Reacts explosively, there's a big clue, with oxygen. Oxygen is one of our diatomics. So we have C and H, that's called a hydrocarbon, and we have oxygen, and this is a combustion reaction. And all combustion reactions produce the same thing. CO2 and water. So we can now balance this out. We put a six here and we put a 3 there. That unfortunately gives us um, 12 and 3 is 15. So you can either do 7.5 here or you can do 2, 15, 12, 6. Both answers are correct. Our next reaction says calcium hydroxide. Calcium is a plus 2. Again, you're going here. You're looking for calcium. It says plus 2. Hydroxide we did in a previous video. It's OH, it's minus, but again, look for it right there. Negative one, hydroxide. To balance this out, we need the two to go down there. Now, it has no other um, reactant. So anytime we only have one reactant, that is a decomposition. So this is decomp. Now, this is a special kind of decomp. This is a metal hydroxide decomp. And if you guys remember, metal hydroxide decomps turn into metal oxides and water. So, metal oxide, this is a plus two. Oxide's a minus two. Oxide, right there, minus two. And then water is H2O. And then these usually balance themselves out. Magnesium citrate. Magnesium plus two. Citrate, I had to handwrite it because it wasn't written down on this. C6H5O7 has a minus three charge. So we need to put the three right here and the two right there. Copper two is a plus two. Copper two plus two. Nitrate we did in the previous minus one, so we need one. So two elements is a double replacement because we have A B plus C D where we get the swap. 
the cation swap, so magnesium will go with nitrate, and the copper will go with the acetate. So the copper two still, sorry, citrate. C6H5O7 has a minus three charge. So three, two, and then we have copper, or sorry, then we have the magnesium and the nitrate. So magnesium plus two, nitrate minus one, so two. Balance this out. This is a good example of what we call the attack the odd. If this is a three and that's a two, let's just go ahead and double this or put our three here and put our three there. So that gives us six. And then we have six. That gives us three magnesiums, which we have. We have three coppers, which we have. And then all that's balanced out. So that's how you do those. Bye.